right she's also walking right so we are uh, finally in Valsenborg I assume looks like docks Are you okay, sir? One more step and you were in the drink. I am oh. <laughs> Pardon? It's me, Captain Obo. Obo! Proud commander of the uh, just as proud crystal. So don't you, sir me. <laughs> well, delighted. Captain, I'm Kate Walker. I'm looking for Steiners, the clockmaker. If I fall in the water, Taylor, you'll be to go straight to hell. So don't... Don't fall in the water, Sailor, you understand? Bastard's waiting for me. Who are you talking about? The monster of the lake is waiting for us all, miss. Everyone's time comes eventually. To finish the work. Come on. Back in the fight. Because you can never lower your guard. Never. <laughs> the monster sh there. I'll still call it Kraken. Right, so he wasn't very helpful. Except for saying he was a captain and that he was afraid of the monster. So they'll check out the other side as well. That's a lighthouse. My squid is absolutely fresh, miss. Listen, miss, it's fresh. I believe you. Most other shopkeepers are on strike. I can't do the same. Believe me, it's a really good thing that the nomads can't just come and go around Valsambor as they please anymore. That big boat, the crystal, it's been rotting at the dock for years. Because the captain's drunk? Things are heating up for Mayor Bulyakin. Hmm, I wonder why. Is it because of the Yuko? Or is it because the things are heating up that he wants to keep Yuko out now? To improve his uh, image. We're going to see the Nomad Souk. Apparently they have good prices. Hmm, they probably do. Since the town hall closed the port, we sometimes get the impression we're living in a ghost town. I get that impression too. I'm just checking all the doors just to see if there's like somewhere I can go inside. <laughs> like a clockmaker shop. I can't. I wish I could see what was here. Ah, this is just the end of the docks. Interesting. Fisherman, maybe he's got something to say. Uh, where's my cursor gone? Oh, there it is. 
Hi there. Anything biting? Like a cracker? As if. Twenty years there's been fewer fish, but sometimes you can get lucky. Go figure. It's really odd. You seem to know the region well. Maybe you can fill me in a bit. I'd like to know a little bit more about the local legend. I was told that there's a monster down there, living at the bottom of the lake. It's not a legend. And how can you be so sure? Back when, the lake froze over earlier in the season. People would go out and make holes in the ice in the middle of the lake, then fish like that. Sometimes they would even set up these cabins for the winter next to the hole. The old folk always said you should only cut a small hole. Just wide enough so the fish could be pulled through when you landed them. No more than that. One day, this guy who was kind of odd cut a really big hole. To make it easier, he said. In case he caught a really big one. You don't have to believe me, but he's the one who went into the hole. Backwards. Into the depths. In less time than it takes to say it, the monster's arm came through the hole, then dragged the poor guy down to the bottom of the lake. That's why the old folks say, never make a big hole in the ice, because of the monster that lurks below. And how do you know all that? Because the poor guy was my older brother. And I was fishing just next to him that day. So you think what you want. You have a good day, miss. Hmm. I got the achievement for asking at least two people about the legend. I didn't even have to try. Right, go in the lighthouse? Nope. Let's close. There's really no reason for me to actually even go in there. What's that? Boat. That's it. Okay. Pretty view, I guess. Bit misty. Uh, I suppose the village looked like it was the other way. But... Yeah, we got to hear about the legend. And the mayor. Okay. Is this the ship? I assume this is the back of the ship. It's like a ferry or something, and people can load in. From here? My assumption. Yeah, it looks like it. So, guess how we're going to cross the lake with all our ostriches? I've got a feeling the captain will come in handy. So, it's seems to be the actual village. It does look like a ghost town, doesn't it? Can I talk to you? Oh, oh. I like this uh, little bridge across the thing. The village looks cute enough. The boat looks horrible. Like a stinky boat. I assume I had to go into city center. Is that the captain again? That's a policeman, isn't it? Why is access to the boats blocked? Let's go check in the village. Uh, uh. 
What is this? Is this the locksmith? Is there a key on there? This is a bar. Someone stole three chickens last night. I bet it was those damn thieving yukels again. Yeah, we can't always accuse the foxes. You should go see about complaining to the mayor with all the others. I can't understand why those damn savages are stuck. Oops. I didn't realize they had more to say. Oh, they were just being racist, so. We already knew. Excuse me, please, miss. Yes? I'm looking for Simon Steiners. Simon Steiner is my grandfather. My name is Sarah. Sarah Steiner. Pleased to meet you, Sarah. I'm Kate Walker. Can you tell me where I can find your grandfather's workshop? Of course. You'll find his shop is at the end of the alleyway, on the left, just as you leave it, in the main avenue. Can I ask what you want with him? Because he's rather old, you know. I'm accompanying the Yukel caravan. Apparently your grandfather is supposed to be making a mechanical prosthesis for Kirk, their spiritual chief, who had a bad accident recently. Without the artificial leg, Kirk won't be able to go along with the great migration of his people. And on top of that, the Yukels won't leave without their guide. You're accompanying the Yukels? My god, you're so terribly lucky. When I was little, grandfather used to tell me all about their adventures, full of mystery and magic. Mm. Uh, okay. You seem to like the Yukel, Sarah. I get the impression that's rare in Valsambur. It's true that when it comes to the Yukels, people around here can be a bit silly. They go out of their way to make the nomad scapegoats for all of the town's problems since they got stuck here. But you don't, do you? Of course not. Grandfather told me that he has actually seen three or four of the great ostrich migrations in his lifetime, and he always really respected those strange people. He even made sure I would admire them too, you know. That's nice. Uh... I guess you're pretty close to your grandfather? Yes. Of course he can get a bit grumpy. Especially the last few years. But he's actually really adorable. And you should see the work he does. Give him a few cogs and springs and he'll give you some unbelievably incredible invention. He almost makes mechanical objects seem alive. I see exactly what you mean. I used to know someone like that too. The only problem we have is that business collapsed when he got sick. I really do believe that if I didn't have the waitressing jobs to make ends meet, we'd probably have to close up shop. That's sad. Do you like life in Valsambur? Oh, there's really not that much to talk about here, you know. I spend all my time here or with grandfather since he got sick. There was no one who could keep an eye on him for you? We can't afford it, I'm afraid. I also think I prefer it this way. My grandfather is my only family. Thank you for your help. I'll be stopping in to see grandfather on my next break. Maybe I'll see you there. Yes, I hope so. Goodbye, Sarah. I like her outfit. It's really um, cute and detailed and uh, has some generic folklore uh, details to it, like the, the little vests and the flowery apron and things like that. I like it. Um, also, uh, I had a patch installed yesterday and apparently uh, one of the things it does is it makes the time uh, that when, when you're in the dialogue, uh, people kept interrupting you if you didn't reply fast enough and they extended that time a bit and it it does seem to be better now because it was annoying me that she didn't press a button within two seconds they'd go like tell me something answer me no um so they fixed that um which i'm grateful for i hope um maybe eventually they'll add a manual thing <laughs> It would at least be better if it would automatically save when you quit the game and not just use the autosave. There's something about those nomads at our doors they're not telling us. It's been hard to sell our produce since the port closed. And now those nomads show up and undercut us. Ooh. 
That shape there in the water. What is it? Looks like tentacles to me. That's Captain, isn't it? All those youngsters trying to act smart to impress the Steiner girl. It really gets to me. I'd really suggest you steer well clear of Captain Obo, miss. He's always basically drunk as a skunk. <laughs> I'm not standing here because I'm happy, you know, miss. Sorry. Just trying to soak up the local flair. That's the nice man who helped me leave the Yuko camp. I should go thank him. Mm, okay, do I have to go around? How? Can't I thank him from across the bar? Uh, apparently, I... What? That's the nice man who helped me leave the Yuko camp. I should go thank him. Well, I'm trying to, but... Do I have to go through the... No, I can't go here. Can't open the bar. How am I meant to go there? <sighs> Stuck again. What does she mean, go thank him? Isn't it enough to just stand here and say, thank you? I can't actually open the bar, so apparently that's not the way to do it. The lake is haunted by a demon. It's watching me. Waiting! I can feel it. Mm. Uh, I suppose we could... Um, Seeing as how I can't figure out a way to go over and thank this man. Uh, I suppose I should just uh, go outside and go to the clock maker. left in the alleyway I assume this is what she meant no? um, I'm not sure actually I can ask him lost your way pretty girl kind of did is that it that is it Steiner says so on the uh, sign Hello. Are you Mr. Steiner? Mm. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Steiner. My name is Kate Walker, and I've come to pick up the prosthesis for Kirk, the Yukel spiritual guide. And well, dear Miss Walker, Dr. Efimova has informed me that the young man was not yet in any sort of condition to withstand the operation, and that... Mr. Steiner? Are you all right? It... It is impossible. That pendant you have around your neck. I would be very obliged if you would entrust me with it for a moment. Please, Miss Walker. Mine got. 
An XZ-2000 automaton heart in perfect working condition. A compensating spring memory. Pendulum ventricles and small mechanical pumps. Everything seems in excellent condition. Donnervetter! Where on earth did you steal this, Miss Walker? I didn't steal it. It's a souvenir. I did not steal it. It's a souvenir. It's all I have left of Oscar. A very dear friend. Ah, so. And yet I am actually very familiar with this type of precision mechanism. An infernal precision. Incredible, unique expertise. For this was a Varlberg automaton, Miss Walker. Yes. It was Hans Varlberg who designed this object. Tell me, did you know him? Oh, yeah. He even lived here a few years. We did a lot of work together. He taught me so many different things, you know. So it is useless to try and make up silly stories, Miss Walker. And I am afraid that I am not about to allow you to leave here as long as you have not told me the truth about where this object comes from. That's not a problem. I have to say, it kind of bothers me how off the mouth movement is with the actual dialogue. Uh, well, to the point where I'm... I'm waiting for any sort of credible explanation, Miss Walker. Yeah, to the point where I'm actually trying not to look at his face when he's talking, because it's quite annoying. Um... Are you afraid to answer? No, I'm thinking about what to do. I'll talk about Hans. No. <sighs> Don't bother locking me in, Mr. Steiner. If you must know, the truth is that Hans Vogelberg was someone who was very important to me. I accompanied him on a very strange journey throughout Europe. And that object in your hand is the only souvenir I have of that adventure. That proves nothing, Himmelherrgott! Hans would never have given this to... Ah! Ah! Calm yourself. Maybe he needs a heart. Uh, Mr. Eh? Steiner, are you all right? My heart need my medication. Quickly. Just don't move. I'll go and get your medication right away. <laughs> 